Are you back for the night, sir? Shall I warm up Christmas dinner? No. It's going to be a long night, Alfred. I just ran into a human-shaped crocodile who told me Black Mask has hired assassins to kill me. Huh. Would have thought Alfred would have had some uh, smart answer to that. Uh, it looks like even the uh, human, the human-shaped crocodile, or the crocodile-shaped human, whatever you want to call it, has uh, even stumped Alfred. But with that being said, looks like we've leveled up, and it's time to actually get a proper look at this Wayne Tech screen. So every time you level up, you earn an upgrade point. These points can be spent to unlock unlock upgrades and improve Batman's skills and equipment. The upgrades are divided into three categories. Select an upgrade category. So, oh, didn't mean to click on that. So basically you've got close combat upgrades, you've got invisible predator upgrades, and then you've got these auxiliary, uh, auxiliary upgrades. But basically, I normally tend to flip between these two, so your combat or your invisible predator. To be honest, for me, personally, I find upgrading the combat stuff is tends to be a bit more essential at least at the start of the game anyway, because it's like stuff like health, armor, combat, different moves you can do, stuff like that. Whereas Invisible Predator is uh, more, so, more so like with your weapons and your gadgets, which, you know, it, it does, obviously it is important, it does have its importance like behind it. But I find keeping Batman alive is more important than the damage he can deal out, at least at the start. Okay, and I think this isn't going to go until I actually click on something. No, it looks like the little <laughs> little hint sign's gonna stay in front of it, which is quite irritating. So first off, uh, what we've we got: combat armor, bat suit, resilience against uh, melee attacks or against gunfire. Um, I'm thinking at the start. Do you know? Normally, I say putting up his ballistic armor is quite a good idea at the start because bullets uh, hurt you a lot more than punching and kicking. So, do you know what? Yeah, actually, I'm gonna make him more resistant to gunfire at the start because. People with guns kill Batman a lot quicker than um, people with uh, fists do. And I can't exactly defend against a bullet. I can defend against someone trying to punch me. What do we have here? Calendar Man. Julian Gregory Day. <laughs> wow. Doesn't exactly look like the uh, sharpest knife in the uh, drawer. But anyway, yep, feel free to read that at your discretion. Here we have uh, the map system, which basically, just like it was back in Arkham City and Arkham Asylum, just your basic map, got your objectives, the layout of the area, yada yada yada, nothing too special. And, yep, you got your profiles or your intel, synopsis, how far through the story, and your upgrades. And there's two areas that we haven't quite unlocked yet, so we'll, we'll have a look at them later on. And here is the Batcave, before it was uh, the Batcave we saw in later games. Or previous games. All the past tense and future tense is really going to mess me up here. Alright. <laughs> okay, fair enough, Alfred. You can go first if you really want to. So what do we have here? I'm an innocent businessman. Here are cops. Save six. Masked hood. And calendar killer. Well, we already know the calendar killer was. Fair enough. Yeah, but when you look around the Batcave and you just look around the whole entire uh, map of Batman, like you know from previous installments of the game, there are just so many Easter eggs and hidden items hidden throughout the game. Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Uh, 
Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. You're sure this is wise, sir? I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. Well, Alfred, uh, the uh, <laughs> the thoughts appreciated, but I think all the training I'm going to be doing is out there in the real world. Fists hitting faces, feet hitting crutches, yep, and heads butting with heads. That's definitely the way Batman gets his train on. A question, sir, if I may. How did Waylon Jones come to be the way he is? Atavism from the look of it. An unfortunate genetic mutation. Do you think the condition causes physical pain? Might that explain his rage? It goes deeper than that. Imagine growing up looking like he did. Children are cruel, Alfred. Uh, so are adults, sir. Um, all part of the human condition, I suppose. We have a tendency to fear, often outright despise, that which is different. Ah, but you already knew that. If you're serious about getting to Jezebel Plaza in time to find Penguin's men, you'll want to leave soon. Okie pokey, Alfred. Oh, he mocks when I go, he mocks when I stay, he just... He has an opinion, doesn't he? Constantly. And if at any point you are stuck and you want any free experience points, come back to the Batcave, talk to Alfred, and you uh, get a tasty little bit of experience points every time you talk to him. So, if you're that close to leveling up, you just can't find the bad guys to beat up, which would... So you'd better hurry if you're planning on getting to Jezebel Plaza before Penguin's men finish their uh, business. Oh, okay, Alfred, I'm introducing the game's basic mechanics here, just... Give me a moment. But yeah, if you're somehow struggling to find people, which I don't know how you'd actually find yourself in that situation, come here, talk to Alfred, and grab yourself not only a good bit of insight, but some free experience points. Anything on your mind? I'm just hoping for a swift resolution. Yeah, well, that, I don't think that's necessarily going to happen. I've done my best to keep the cave tidy, but with those bats circling above, there's bound to be collateral damage. Do keep an eye out. You saying I'm gonna have bat poop all over my stuff, <laughs> and not coming from me? Some of the assassins have access to rather interesting technology. When this is over, you might want to consider appropriating it. Let some good come of tonight's events. Yeah, Alfred, that is actually not a bad idea. Since when did masks become de rigueur for aspiring crime lords? What can I say? I'm a trendsetter. Seems to me that Captain Gordon is the one good apple in a bad bunch. True, true. It remains to be seen. Ah, who are we kidding? We've played Asylum and City. We know he turns out to be alright. Since when did masks become de rigueur for aspiring crime lords? Okay, looks like Alfred's stuck on repeat. So let's get this bad boy a moving along. So the first time you're here, you might want to have a good little look around the back cave. If you have a look around, you can see like the start of gadgets. Like, uh, what's that called? I forget what it's called. The sort of the web zip. The web zip? The sort of, kind of is like a web zip. The line launcher that we used in City and Asylum to get the cross places. There he is, on his way to making it right now. And it's little stuff like that. As, as much as you, um, as long as you sort of look around and try and see what there is to see around in the Batcave, you can find little stuff like that. Little Easter eggs pertaining to other parts of the game and like future games and stuff like that, or past games, I should say. Anything down here? Nope, a big dead end. I'm assuming that probably goes up into the Wayne Mansion, but... We have a busy night ahead of us. That is not where we're going to be heading off now. So yeah, before we move on, I'm just going to have a quick little run around the back cave. See what there is to see around here first. Oh, and apparently get stuck on some boxes in the process. <laughs> hmm. Broken bones. Doing a little bit of surgery, are we, Batman? No, it hasn't even started, and you're already looking at ways to fix yourselves. <laughs> Talk about pessimistic. We want to be optimistic, Batman. We aren't going to get hurt. We don't need to be healed. For we are the Batman. <laughs> and look at this. 
He hasn't even built the Batmobile yet. He's built himself a big ass jet, but he hasn't built the Batmobile. Yeah, I've got to say, he's getting his priorities straight. <laughs> I think I would build the big jet for before the car. And over here, I'm not going to be using it just yet, but this is the uh, the training console. Oh man, I didn't realize it was going to be a loading screen. I wouldn't have clicked on it. But yeah, there's a training console over here, so you can do all the sort of um, the combat simulators. And yes, I do have Deathstroke, so I'll probably go through and I'll do some of these um, combat arenas and these challenge modes and all that sort of stuff. I'll probably go through and do them at some point, but um, yeah, I'll save them for like separate episodes and stuff like that. Could switch up Batman's costume, but what can I say? I'm a, I'm a fan of the uh, I'm a fan of the classics. Speaking of actually his costume, I've got to say, I actually greatly prefer the way Batman looked here in Arkham Origins compared to Arkham City. And uh, yeah, he looked alright in Asylum, but no, I greatly prefer how he looked here in Arkham Origins compared to City. I just think he looks bulkier and he actually looks like he's wearing armour as opposed to the other games where he uh, <laughs> looked like he was in spandex. Which is not becoming of a superhero of this day and age. But anyway, enough jibber-jabbering, let's get back out there and let's track down Penguin. Sir, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto-nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. That's very nice of you, Alfred. And that's something they've implemented into this game, which is something I used to hate about City, and I'm so glad they're putting this. Is they finally introduced fast travel, which, as you can see, this is uh, Arkham City just took place there. And now we've got this whole other area down here unlocked as well, so... I, the fact that you don't have to travel all the way, you now have fast travel points, is just, I think personally, is just absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad that you, <laughs> that you can now fast travel. But, with that being said, let's get out there and let's do this. smoke pellets to conceal my movements. I'll pull this trigger. I ain't playing. You got some kind of death wish? Come on. I need to get up and out of danger. He can't shoot what he can't see. Attacking head-on is a good way to get myself shot, and probably the hostage, too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. Is that thing out there with you? Are you crazy? We were answering the service call. Show yourself! Oh, I'm about to show myself, but I don't think Who's it's in the way there? that you want it to be. Death from above! Ah! No, no! I quit. Ah! Yeah, don't blame you, buddy. Oh, we've got one guy, oh, two guys over there, one guy down there. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt their conversation just now, but it's, <laughs> it seems like Batman casts quite a big shadow. Literally. I can sneak up on the hostage taker by crawling through the vent. Ah, vents. It just wouldn't be Batman if there weren't vents. What the hell was that? You think it's the guy that hired us? You piss him off or something? No way. Besides, I don't get the sense that he's the uh, physical type. Either way, we need to get the hell out of here. Now! That can be obliged. <laughs> it's just get yourself brutal. to safety and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. This was just supposed to be a service call. Fix the tower in and out. I need a new job. 
Yeah, that doesn't look like getting out. In fact, it looks like it's you sitting in a pool of water right next to an electrical object. That's what it looks like. Man, you aren't exactly that smart, are you? <laughs> but that takedown was brutal. That's fantastic. I'm going to have to be doing more of them. I can, I can fix the tower. Whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. So he's probably just going to sit there and cower like the other guy did. Man, when I tell you guys to get to safety, do it. Have we not learned from past games that if you don't get to safety, you end up dead later on? The amount of times Batman's just left people sitting there and they end up dying. Use this opportunity to get your butt out of here. Oh, <laughs> when you think you're safe. Man, he was actually quite close to the floor. You might as well just let him hit the floor there, Batman. There's a lot of snow down there. I'm sure, I'm sure he wouldn't have got too hurt. Hmm. So what do we have here? I don't think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. I should start by identifying the victim. And this, personally, is one of my favourite things they've introduced into this game, which they didn't have in the other games, is they've, at, they've sort of like upgraded the detective vision and actually made Batman become a detective. I think it's one of the only things the other games lacked was Batman actually being the detective and trying to figure out crimes and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I personally love this thing that they've introduced. Victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. That we can do. I've got a feeling the uh, DNA impact here would probably just be uh, the majority of David Shannon's brains. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. Yep, yep, what did I say? <laughs> David Shannon's brains. Calls the death head trauma, see? That was his head, I told you. Who called it? David Shannon brains, right there. I know brains when I see him. 1,114 joules. That was the impact energy. Yeah, I'm not surprised his head's pretty much on that wall. I'm surprised he's actually got some left on him down there. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired, and it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And... Hmm. Uh, that's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. Fair enough. So someone sets up a booby trap here to stop the tower from getting fixed, and then someone kills the guy who set up the booby trap. Someone definitely is cleaning up. So if we rewind the crime scene, we might be able to find out where it went. Fair enough. David Shannon, your brains are now back inside your head once more. Fast forward, fast forward, and there, <laughs> there he goes. Boom! <laughs> hey, let's, let's go inside. Imagine if you were just inside this room, minding your own, maybe taking a whiz, and then suddenly, David Shannon brains! <laughs> Oh, detective mode, it's just too much fun. But anyway, it turns out the uh, looks like the key card went inside here. 
Magi! Mash A to save the key card. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. Good, good. And for once, we can finally use our cryptographic sequencer right from the very start. I like it. I like it a lot. So, what do we have here? Um, I'm guessing unfortunate. Unfortunately, no, unfortunate it is. Open says me. If we have a look at the Dark Knight challenges, a few more things have been opened up. So if we go over towards here, we've got case file reports. And every time we open up one of those uh, sort of those case files, the crime scenes we have to investigate, you get a new case file report come up here. So this one, the, com the uh, commentary tower death trap, that one's been closed, but obviously more are going to get opened up. And unless they pertain to a, uh, a main storyline mission, sometimes they're just side missions, you can begin them and then continue them at any point, however you like. So th there's no deadline on them, you can just start them and finish them whenever you like. Unless they're to do with a main story, then obviously you have to do them right then and there. And also if we go along here, we've now got the Dark Knight system. Basically, these are, these are like a set of challenges that you have to do, and by doing them, you get XP and rewards and stuff like that. So if we go to World's Greatest Detective, you'll see here, down number one was complete 10% of the database, which we've just done, so we've rewarded ourselves 2,000 XP for it. Number two, we've got complete 14% uh, of the database, so obviously that's the stuff we do as we go along. But if we go over to Shadow Vigilante, number one, we've got to perform five counters. I'm guessing that's... Do this five times complete a challenge. Oh, so it's not even in one combat scenario. It's just five times throughout the game. That's <laughs> pretty simple. And then, um, uh, yeah, when you hit these bits here, these bits that have stars next to them, you see there it says free flow focus unlocked. So that's it. it gives you a re it gives you sort of a uh, a reason why you want to do these shadow vig vigilantes because it's the only way to unlock other things like free flow power gadgets. So if you want to use your gadgets as part of a combo, you want to make sure you get rank ten unlocked. And then finally up here, what do we have here? Shadow Vig Vigilante. So the next thing we want to make sure we do is use uh, five combos in a row, so that way we can work our way up. So not only do you get experience points, but it makes it uh, a lot easier to fight in battles as well. So these sort of things I would highly recommend you do as, uh, as soon as possible. Uh, the Grapple Accelerator Takedown, and that's quite quite useful. Shockwave Attack, yep, yep, yep. And Gotham Predator. So I mean, both the... Um, the Gotham Predator and the Shadow Vigilante, I'd say you do. If I was you, I'd try and uh, upgrade them as quick as possible, especially Shadow Vigilante. And Worst Nightmare, I think these are all for the uh, the takedowns during the sneak attacks. So we've done number one, perform an inverted takedown. Uh, perform three silent takedowns in a single Predator encounter. And then what do we get here? The Sonic Batarang. Sonic Shock Batar Batarang. And Worst Nightmare. So yeah, I think Worst Nightmare and a uh, Shadow Vigilante, I'd say, would be the two I'd primarily focus on in uh, on upgrading. So what have we got here? Three silent takes down in one Predator encounter and four, perform five counters. Oh, that's simple enough, I guess. But anyway, onward and upwards. Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data for my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Oh, and check out that bat breath. <laughs> Mashy! Oh, no, he's in Machine to get open grates and vents. And now Machine to get open doors as well. And the Machine party continue. Well, well, if it isn't the King Thug himself. I figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that maybe this is uh, begging, possibly. Oh, apparently not. Hmm, black mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? 
Yes, I would actually. With the Jamarov line, I can travel here with the Batwing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. And that we shall do. When he said begging and then pun, in, pun intended, I thought that was going to be the password, since he said it was begging to be taken down. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. But then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. <laughs> Oh, Alfred, are you taking the pop of the fact that I can never decide what mission to do first? Alfred, Alfred, Alfred. Huh. Would have been handy if we could have just taken that door in and <laughs> instead of having to go through and fight with those people. Would have made it a lot easier. If I don't get to Jezebel Plaza before that arms deal, I'll have no way to locate the penguin. That is true, that is true, but then as we can see flashing up on our screen right now, we have many, many other things to be get done and get doing. So let's have a quick little look, looky loose what we've got. So basically you've got these things here. These are, oh, if I can get over the network relays, they destroy all the relays to access the server at Enigma's HQ. So you want to go around and destroy all these to gain access to that. It's just more, more Riddler stuff you can get doing. Not only do you have to find Riddler packages in this game, but also you need to find these network relays as well. So just Riddler making his life for us just that much harder. And as you can see, right now we can fast travel here because we took this one offline, but we can't fast travel anywhere else until we uh, uh, travel to these uh, comm towers and take them online or take them offline or whatever. So then we can fast travel, but obviously some of them we can only do as the game progresses. So... Gives you stuff to do as the game goes on. Here's all our side missions. Many, many a side mission as we know from past games. Along with the Riddler's one. Blah, 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 blah. Stuff there, stuff there. And I do believe we unlocked a couple of profiles. Man, oh man, we, <laughs> we unlocked more than a couple of profiles. I forgot that we found out about all of the, uh, the assassins that are coming to get Batman. Well, as always, feel free to give these ones a read. I mean, these are the enemies that we're going to be coming across throughout this game. So, I definitely suggest you to pause this video and give this a read. And just find out a little bit about the people that we are essentially going to be kicking their ass. Because, <laughs> let's face it, have they beaten Batman yet? No, they have not. Lester, was it, Buginski? Buginski? <laughs> oh man, it looks like he's had a little bit of a fight with... Uh, Pyro, or whatever his name was. What was his name? Firefly. Well, oh, I can say that, Lester, I've never heard of you before, and you, you don't look overly impressive. You look like every other thug that I take down in this game. Killer Croc! Ah, oh, well. <laughs> you, uh... You, you, did, you, did, you had a good try. You had a good try. Try to take me down right at the start, but, well, that's, I think that's the last we're going to be seeing of you now. An Enigma. Who actually kind of looks like a young version of the Gordon. Uh, the Gordon? <laughs> the Commissioner. Wait, Gordon isn't the Commissioner. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm getting all muddled up and tongue-tied. But anyway, with that being said, we are now finally out into Gotham City. And it looks it looks a fine sight better than it did in uh, Arkham City. Bear in mind, of course, Arkham City it was all degraded and flooded and... It definitely looks better now. <laughs> Unfortunately, we know the future of this place. But, with that being said, next time we leave off, I think... Hmm, should I be going to see the Penguin or should I go see Enigma? It's The choice is the choices, but I'll leave that for next time. As for now, I'm going to leave this one here. Next time we're back, we're going to be going off at least and facing one of those guys. But as for now, I'll catch you guys later.